Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. Not Sun and Moon, as I have said probably multiple times at this point. Look at that! In the last episode, we talked to the professor. And I think that's actually all we did. Like, there was just so much dialogue. Like, we talked to the professor, got our right to challenge the league, talked to the professor to get our bands, and then rode a train. That's Motosoke, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, and if it isn't Sonya. Like, oh my god, my grand gave me a proper earful in her on in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? But aren't you helping with the research? Like you were staying at the research lab, so I thought you were doing something there. Ooh, sick burn. <laughs> ah, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in that forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the time timing works out fine. I've discovered something really huge that maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenge, eh? Oh, okay. You can't be getting real with me too much. Oh, that was Hop who said that. Hop, you can't be getting real with me too much here. I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be the great fun to fish. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm gonna battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in my tale of my legend. Okay, bye. Have fun. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on an opponent that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think that you're up to it, check them out. There'll be a Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So, with that, how about I send you off with a little treat for me? Oh, Pokemon Box Link. Sweet, thanks. This device allows you to access the Pokemon Storage System. There are some places where it won't work. Okay, so we can access our PC anywhere. With the Pokemon Box Link, you'll be like able to put Pokemon from your team in your boxes from anywhere. I, okay, I just paraphrased that entire sentence. So, go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. This wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Sweet. Now how... Ooh, berry tree. What's that? Okay, there's something fl like flashing over there in that side area. I'm going to have to keep... Remember, if you see a berry tree, immediately just like book it. But first, grass. Okay, what's this one? Oh, a swine up. I'm a fan of mammal swine. Now, will I use one? Probably not, but I like mammal swine. Oh wait, this is a bad thing against a random Pokemon that you're gonna catch. Just because if they had like something like leftovers. Okay, this one wouldn't have leftovers. So like an icy rock. You probably would be like, hey. I could have had an Icy Rock now in my inventory. Even if I'm not going to use Hail, I could still, like, you know, put it in my, well, sell it to a clerk, right? Uh, hmm. What do I call him? Oh, I could box the Ampers now without having to go to a PC. Swineup, the pig Pokemon. It rubs its snout on the ground to find and dig up food. It sometimes discovers hot springs. Uh, I did not know Swinub's find hot springs, so your name is Onsen. Probably misspelled that, but eh, whatever. Send the box. Wait, what's this thing? Oh, it's a vanilla. Okay. Not my favorite fifth gen ice type, but one I do like. I would rather have found a Cryogonal, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, that's the ability to not use status moves, right? 
Okay, yeah. It's a status move one. Oh, wait. Nope, nope. That was the... Hmm. Alright. Beat up does jack all for damage. Okay, some of these hits are actually hurting. And some of them do nothing. Okay, I'm guessing, like, level is taken into account for how much damage it does. Uh, that prevents status ailments, right? No, that's safeguard. This one prevents stat drops, right? I can never keep some moves right in my head because you never see them ever used. Hey, okay. But now we have a McFlurry. Now I just need a Slurpuff for McJiggles and whatever I'll name that Alu Creamy thing is. Vanillite, the fresh snow Pokemon. Unable to survive in hot areas, it makes itself comfortable by breathing out air cold enough to cause snow. It burrows into the snow to sleep. I wish the first letter was just automatically capitalized. There we go, make flurry. Send a box. <laughs> you have. Why are there this many. Wait, is that a bundle bee? Like, what? Why? Why is there a bundle bee just chilling here? Like, I already have a rabbit Pokemon, so. Not gonna really care to. Jesus, it's level 10! Why? Why? I was over here like, yeah, I'm never going to have to do any experience for him because I'm now over leveled. And then it's like, no. I, I walk through one gateway and it's like, yeah, wild Pokemon are now up to your level again. So, are trainers just weaker than wild Pokemon? Oh, great. Buttersby and Diggersby is actually like an actual good Pokemon. Or at least they hit like a truck. So, yeah, probably won't use it, but... At least good to have it in the PC in case you need it. Yay! Uh, oh. Level 9 is typically an evolutionary point for bugs. Well, level 10 is, so. One more level until hopefully this bug will evolve. Uh, Bundleby. Uh, Rogers. Why Rogers? I don't know. He just looks like a Roger. It's in the box. Oh, I... A Metapod? Are these all ice cream cones? Yeah, these are all ice cream cones. Oh. Yo, a Manchino! I like... Okay, no. I can't just keep saying I like this Pokemon because I like like 80% of the Pokédex, so... Odds are, if I see a Pokemon, I'll like it. There are a few exceptions, though, like Voltorb. Uh, not the biggest fan of Diglett. Actually, now that I think about it, almost all the Pokemon that I don't really like come from the first generation. Well, sure that angers people, but who cares? We all know 5th Gen has the best Pokemon. And if you don't believe me, look at the Rock and Roller line compared to Geodude. Like, Gigalith is so much cooler than Golem. Bulldor is so much cooler than Graveler. Like, Geodude's kind of better than Rock and Roller, though, so... Yeah, I, I guess the very first one wins. Uh, Flutter. There we go. Wait, I didn't want to add you to my team. Sorry. Send the box. Uh, any more, like, exclamation point grass? I want to find, like... Oh, Metapod exists. I feel like this is just going to be, like, an episode of me doing nothing but catching Pokemon in the wild area. Which I understand that's probably what the game expects you to do when you first get here, but... Come on now. Wait, there's, like, by this point in, like, any other Pokemon game, you would have seen four different Pokemon. You would have seen Starting Bird, Starting Rodent, probably a secondary beast 
and then uh, then like a poison type, poison or fighting type, because like Nidoran, uh, Timbers. What else exists? Not the star of a Pokemon. No, no, that I think about it. Not really much. Oh, wait a minute. Who can use a flying type? Yes, no dip is a flying type. But I mean, like, it's a pure flying type. There's no one that's a pure flying other than Tornadus. I can dig. I can dig it. So, yay. Uh, we all know what a Metapod is. Don't need to read this text entry. Uh, low salt. Yep, send the box. I don't want to fight another one of you guys. Please, let me go. Vanilla, I, I don't need another ice type. I'm not trying to make a well-rounded team. Oh. Good thing I have run away. I need to go heal. Or swap... Nicket? I think is the actual name of this Pokemon. Yeah, swap it to the back of the party. Hopefully I don't get ran through and end up having to just like, you know... <gasps> Ooh, exclamation point grass. Okay, so it's just Swine Up and Menchinos. Oh, wait a minute. You're. You only have Struggle Bug. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Why? I've been hit with Powder Snow twice. <laughs> and one of them's already frozen me. You know what? Screw you, swine up. I was gonna fight you, and then you froze me. Like, I, I don't want to fight you anymore. I just want to go heal, and then start progressing. Now that I think about it, is there really a need to heal when I have access to my entire PC? Or is it just like, things don't heal when being stored that way in the PC? Oh, okay. Camera's controlled by- Ooh, honey. Yeah, but why would you... Yeah, not touching that. Like, I've heard horror stories of Onyx. I found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild areas are strong. If you try battling one and it seems like you're in over your head, try to run. Run like the wind. Yeah, understandable. Friend fought an Onyx and... Can just say, it did not turn out... Oh, another note. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, and even the PP, they need to use their moves in over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up as well as a, with a piping hot plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curries. Okay. Yes, of course I want to shake a berry tree. Petcha, cherry berry. Two orange and a Petcha. Orange Cherry Petcha. Eh, one more. Cherry and Orange. Okay. Quit. You got three Petcha, four Cherry, four Orange. Oh, I just happened to stop at the exact perfect time. I'm gonna guess another Swine Up. Oh, Bunnelby. Wait a minute, now that I think about it, that cry sounded similar, so... Can you tell a Pokemon, like, what's gonna appear based on the cry? Because so, good! Now I can tell if I'm gonna have a repeat encounter. If I pay attention. Oh. I had Struggle Bowl confused with a different move. I thought this was Infestation. Now, I'm happy that it's actually Struggle Bug and not Infestation, because... Infestation doesn't do much damage. Then again, Struggle Bug doesn't do much damage either. I'd rather have Leech Life. Especially if you're given, especially since I think Struggle Bug's physical. Like, I'd much rather just... Okay, yeah, move. Yeah. Oh, no, it's special. Okay. Carry on, then. I have no right to complain. Against a wild Pokemon, it's just a strictly better Infestation. And no level up. 
sad. Yeah, I think I've caught everything in this route. Or everything but the... Never mind, there's a Tyrogue. Uh, how good? How good? I, I wasn't just expecting to run into a little purple boy. No, what? Uh, the only question is, what is this tower going to evolve into? Like, is it going to be, uh, I almost said Machoke. Is it going to be a Hitmonchan or Lee? Is that Headbutt or Tackle? By the way, I'm swapping out. Daji's not ready for this. Like, I only left the bug in because I thought a uh, low level Tyro only has, like, low kick. I was not expecting tackle. Like, I just treat Tyro how I treat Mankey. It's like, oh, it has low kick. Maybe Karate Chop. Fury Swipe at worst. So, yeah. Now I know. Oh, wait. No, no. Please don't kill this. Please don't kill it. Ah, God. <laughs> Forgot my original plan was to catch it. Oh well, oh, it's a Tyro. People have used Tyrogues in the past. It's nothing new. What? Pokemon Dens. You've obtained 50W. Okay. No, don't, don't talk to me. Where's the point of entry? I don't even have to touch the tall grass. I could just keep going. There's the city, uh... Oh, a Padov! <laughs> you found a note! Did someone drop it here? Use the right stick to rotate camera when you're in the wild area. And if you press right stick, you'll find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. Dove, be good and just stay in a ball. Don't struggle. In fact, how did you fly all the way from Unova over here? Oh good, don't have to ask you. Wait, was this a male or female? I kinda hope it's a male one. Cause I never know what to name female on pheasants. Oh, level 10, threshold. What I tell you, every bug evolves at some point if it's at level 10. Except Scallopede, Levani, and every, like, other bug. What? What is this? What am I looking at? What? What am I looking at here? Dodler, the Radome Pokemon. It barely moves, but it's still alive. Hiding in its shell without food or water seems to have awakened its psychic powers. I excuse me, what? Excuse me! No! What?! Uh, huh? Oh good, it's... It's male. How do you spell flourish? You know, it's just gonna be spelled incorrectly until... I get to a name writer and spell it correctly off screen. Send the box. Uh, okay, I I'm intrigued now. I want to know what this Pokémon is going to become. Uh Yeah, don't want to deal with you. Dickersby evolved at like level 20 something. Hello. Uh Fried food, instant noodles, uh pre-cooked burger, mixed mushrooms, pet food. What? No. Screw you, I'll cook my own food, nerd. Uh, you're a fisher. Want my brilliant find for a brilliant- Sure! Yeah, take my W. That's money. Sweet. Now what else is there here? 
I haven't seen any trainers walking around. Uh oh, this music is actually pretty nice. I feel like I could just like AFK here when I'm doing something else. Kind of like how I use Poke Village as my AFK spot in Monster Hunter. Okay, pretty sure... Okay, I'm just gonna swap you up front. Like... Because I want to run away. Because I feel like this Pilo Swine is like level 12 million. You've encountered a very strong looking Pilo Swine. Yeah! I, I would expect so. Ah, yep, I just told a Final Fantasy, you walked too far south at the start of the game, and have encountered a Gazer. Yeah, not going that way. Yeah, K Kitsune gets to be at the front of our party, till the end of time. Oh, a strong bundle be. Good, I don't care about what your moveset is, so... Go ahead, have a special move that I'll never know. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll just slap you real quick. Wait, what? What? No, no, no. What is laser focus? You can have a new, you can have a different move all you want, but how would it be a move that I can recognize? Like, I don't know what. Okay, and you have rollout as well. That's fine. I'm gonna guess laser focus is like focus energy. They both have to do with focus, and he just happened to land a crit. I'm just, I, I'm just saying. I may be onto something. Okay, so yeah, after this battle, I'm just gonna end off the episode. In the next episode, we're gonna be making a beeline for the next town, cause I'm pretty sure we've captured everything feasible here. That Onyx over there, bit of a different story. I don't think he's feasible. Oh, yes, forget a move. Right, your special attack is 20. What do you need beat up for when you have Snarl? And poof. <gasps> oh, Hot Stepper's almost level 15. And if I know anything about Pokemon, 15 is like the cap for like starters. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll probably get to see Hot Stepper evolve. So until then. See you all next time.